Here's a friendly reminder for you. This year, 420 is on a Saturday, which means it's going to be bigger than normal. March and Nash is going larger this year, too. The entire store is 25% off on 420. And if you spend $75 or more, you'll be able to get the 2024 goodie box, complete with some flour, pre-rolls, vapes, edibles, all for one additional dollar. It's a $75 value, people. Only available while supplies last. So be warned, they're going to move fast. Visit marchingass.com for full details. Enjoy responsibly. Olas Media. I am your host, Mr. Wowser. We are the Doty Connection. Today, we are going to be talking about some very, very deep topics that I feel is going to touch your soul, as well as recommend you to some great products from Cold Fire Extracts and True Classics, True OG. Trust me, it's going to hit you hard. Wow, wow. And you know, Wagwan, Monsieur Pan, your Raz Glads and your Bamba Glads. I am your host, Mr. Wowser, Wowser, Wowser. Season one finale, finale, finale for this episode. I got special guests. But first, before I get to that, let me give a shout out to my sponsors, Cold Fire Extracts. What up, Doty, March and Ash, Olas Media, and IVC Media. Now I'm going to take it to two records this time. One of these records is called Waiting Room from my album Lotus, all platforms. You'll see what I'm talking about when you listen. Let's go. So now I'm going to take it to another record. The Ballads of Mr. Wowser is the project on all platforms. It is new. I released it recently. It's called One of One of One. I think it's very unique and special to find somebody like that. And it's a lot in this earth. Let's go. I'ma make 
Make sure you're not capping in the location. Get, get you on this high, this ride, this vibe, a new vibration. Sliding with the homies got me thinking. I'd rather pull up on you with this drinking. You're wetter than a swimming pool. I'm slaying. 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 Yeah, slaying. Blowing on this clock while the time tick tock. A lot of guap member days I used to pick pop. Now I'm focused on growing on what already grew. You were part of these plans too, shorty. That's nothing new. Originality is always captivating. Always be yourself. Watch them people hate you cause they fake it. Yeah, there's a lot of girls on this earth, but you were one of one. Go ahead and drop that pen. I'ma show you what's up. Yeah, no, nobody can be you but you. Show you not capping in the location. Get, get you on this high, this ride, this vibe, a new vibration. Sliding with the homies got me thinking. I'd rather pull up on you with this drinking. You're wetter than a swimming pool. I'm slaying. Yeah, slaying. Yeah, slaying. Yeah, slaying. But you. Hello. Yes, Lord. You know the time. Now, we got more bills to pay, <laughs> but we'll be right back after a while's word from our sponsor. Wow, wow. Cold fire hot strings. It's amazing. The taste is great, clean and pure. It's loud like flour, super tasty. It has great effects and a long lasting buzz. This is why Cold Fire is the number one go to vape in the cannabis space. Cold fire extracts scored a high 95 from the highest critic.com. Because of its standard of greatness in every category, even compared to solvent lists. This is almost equalish, but it is definitely better than solvent lists. Go ahead and light up that cold fire extracts. I'm smoking right now. Going light it up. Ooh, why, why? Queen Mary's Boost Elixir. Elixir. Elixir for a vixen, the thing for a king. Boost Elixir is a coffee tincture with added vitamin D infused with THCV that brings you an energizing euphoria that keeps you alert, motivated, and ready to take on the world. This espresso infused elixir serves as a coffee enhancer, providing enhanced focus. It also boosts your metabolism. Top reported effects are alertness, motivation, energy, and enhanced focus. Queen Mary's products can be used in a supplement regimen. So how you would use it is? Queen Mary's boosts elixir in the morning, enchanted gummies throughout the day, and at nighttime, moose drunk gummies to have a nice and refreshed sleep. For more information about Queen Mary and their products, go to their website, queenmarybrand.com. Hello. Wow, you know it's that time. It's time for our special guest. Hello, yes, Lord. Welcome back to TLC. I'm your host, Mr. Wow, wow, wow. Now, my special guest that I have in the building, my special guest, very prominent and established figures in podcasting and modeling. If you want to go ahead and put it in a circle, I'm talking about entrepreneurship. <laughs> Two queens. It's three, but one couldn't make it. Shout out to XR Lively. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And shout out to Anonymous, too. We go back to the trap, trap, trap days. I'm talking about wild, 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 wild trap. Anyway, if you want to know who I'm talking about, the real pretty please, Anonymous, the Highness. We got up, the Highness in the building. Easy, Kellers. Ooh. Easy. How was the ride? It was smooth. It was yeah, quick. It was you live around here, so you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going <laughs> to say the time, but that was a quick ride. That was a quick ride. <laughs> so I want to get to the meat of this. So for all of you guys, how was life growing up for you in San Diego, California? Me. Honestly, I've never left San Diego, so I love it here, you know, so I don't have any, any experience out of here. Wait, I'm lying. I lived in Tijuana for a little bit, okay, so a little yes. bit of back and forth. But you know what? It's changed so much. I hardly go out there anymore. Um, but I love San Diego. It has changed a lot. I miss the way it used to be, but I mean, it's my city. I love it. I always like to tour around my own city. 
I love doing that. And it uh, was different back then. Yeah, for sure. It for, was. Yeah, for me, it's been smooth. Like like her, too. I never lived out in San Diego. TJ, I feel like, is normal for a lot of like Chicanos. Like, we, we have a different life out there. But, um, yeah, I definitely agree with you. It was cool. It was a cool little ride. Now, would I move out of my city? Um, maybe. Oh, really? Where? <laughs> if you guys could move, where? Honestly, I don't know yet. You but, know what um, I mean? Yeah. I would go to Miami. Miami? Okay, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Hello. The, the real question is, because you know our air is different than in this, you know, stick. And yep. Can you handle that? I think I can. I like being in More my... More power to you. <laughs> Not a real tongue. That yeah. probably be killing me. I ain't gonna cap. That should be <laughs> my chest. My hey, this in a little AC can't fix, you know? Hey, easy. Yeah, no yeah. cap. So, Anonymous, I'm gonna segue to you. So, because we worked in the gray market together, mm -hmm. do you remember mm -hmm. the moment that you fell in love with cannabis first? Um. Yes. Yeah, I was super young at a young age. And, um. yeah, I just started smoking. And then from there, I went to um, me getting the opportunity when I, like, when I was legal, I turned legal, I turned 18, started working at the cannabis industry, and then it just became a habit of that, you know? That was a different life, wasn't it? Oh, Man. shit, I don't, I don't, I don't think they're ready, Tawa. I'm just saying, I don't think they're ready for that. No, they're not. Yeah, that was, that was different. We, we definitely changed a lot. So I'm going to segue to you now, uh, The Real Pre, please. Um, How did you come across your general partnership with West Coast Radio and you know we'll get to the oh the, man the, the. that's actually a really uh uplifting story for me it's a little crazy cool testimony so shout out to my girl alizé she just had her baby so she's new to motherhood and hey, i'm really congratulations. proud of her for taking you know big steps um she sings she sings beautifully so if you guys want to hear her alizé um alizé in the house e <laughs> so cute uh, so basically she was invited to west coast radio to do one of her little interviews West Coast Radio, MTK, he's the one who interviewed her. Shout out but, to MTK, I know that's right. Yep. <laughs> um, so basically, I was there, and XO Lovely K was there, and from there, it was just like, boom. Um, I like to say, when preparation meets opportunity, I mean, opportunities are created, I feel like, well said. more than um, they come. They can come, but if you ain't there to be ready to catch it, then... You know, so the opportunity came. I I went ahead and I spoke to MTK about what's well, good. Why don't we do a high nas podcast? You know, you got three high nas in here. Excuse me, with personalities, strong personalities, great stories. We're Dago babies, yeah. and you know we're, we're out here representing West Coast Radio, SoCal Chicano lifestyle. Um, so that was really like where. It, was conceived and then from then on forward mtk was just super supportive again shout out to mtk west coast yeah, radio man, mm -hmm. man, man. I know, that's right. yeah he's been supportive since day one so honestly that's how we got we got up yeah shout out to west coast radio <laughs> shout yeah. out to west coast radio i know that's right yeah that so yes. now i'm gonna segue to you anonymous how was your experience since we just talked about that in the gray market of cannabis and please speak of that because I've interviewed, you know, KP, Mario, Mezzi. Everybody tuned in. Right, but mm -hmm. that wasn't the bud tender sense. Oh, and nah, being a sure. woman in that space, you remember the, how it was. Oh, I remember and, everything. So tell to him, please, <laughs> nicely. <laughs> so, um, so like, like, like that, I'll say, we go way back. You feel me? This is when? 2000 what? 2000? Yeah, 2020? Um, two, yeah, like 2020, yeah. right? 20, yeah, you was there was when like, Kenny died, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was the first shop I ever worked at. Rest in peace, Uncle Kenny. Yeah, yeah. rest in peace. Mm -hmm. um, so it was honestly, it was honestly cool with it because obviously you fall in love with like the money, you fall in love with just like just everything, just the hustle, you feel me? But besides all that, I feel like it was hard as a female just because like there would be a lot of girls and we're in the hood, you feel me? Like if you know, you know. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> there was a lot of girls with a lot of character, and and if you have a hard character as well, and always standing on business, sometimes you will have like interaction with a bunch of girls. Cause remember, all the girls is butt tenders. You feel me? There's no man butt tenders. It's barely. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So it's literally working with girls every day. You know, um, sometimes they would come good, sometimes they would come bad, or even just like the clientele, like our patients. Oh my God, it was just super active. Um, <laughs> but it was tough it was tough but it was a dope ass experience too just because it taught me a bunch of stuff 
It taught me a lot about money. It taught me a lot about marketing. It taught me about a lot of like just being able to control my um, emotions, whether it's going to be the way I react, whether it's going to be the way I've kept myself calm and just in different si- situations, you know? Right, because you came, mm-hmm. we all did. You came every and day. And I was young. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you, feel you me? learned I hard turned, work. I like, was 17. 17 turned 18. It's, you know? it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I always knew, though. You know? I always knew. I always there knew. Was so many See, times. Look yeah. at you like. No, there was, hey, there was so many times. I was, times, bro. Huh? I, was right. always, I was very professional. Bro, my job. I always very. worked with older girls. That's what I'm saying. As a young girl, like, it was just like a lot. Like, you felt like everybody was like, ah, ah, was trying to come to get you. You feel a me? Different just type because, of pressure, right? Yeah, different type of pressure. And like I said, it was just like, oh my God, I'm just a young ass little girl. You know, I'm ready going into this industry. <laughs> Um, and that but shit, yeah, she get thrown into that. That's you, that was, cr- and and mostly with my character. You know me. You know, like I didn't let a bitches step up. There were some times where like I got into it with some girls, yeah, some factual. other bartenders. Yeah, factual. like, and you, you handled know? it. Yeah. Hell yeah, you handled it. Yeah, I remember Big Chris. It's, he told me a few stories. Hell yeah, shout out Big Chris. Hello. <laughs> 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 <Hell on. laughs> I miss everybody though. I remember the time you invited me when you were like, "Oh, I'm gonna have Mario and KP." I was yeah, like, oh I'm my like, God, come through guest so I told KP and them before we came uh-huh. here, and they was like, man, when we walked outside, I'm like, nah, I'm going to interview with you. I'm going to interview because <laughs> we need that side. But I want, I want all of us to be here, though, because everybody has a different story. I have a different I story of them, have a different right, story of you, they have a right. different story of me. Shit, down to Dom. I'm going to give it down to Dom. I ran into relatives somewhere in Grossmont. Oh, shit, no right. way. Oh, God. I'm like, dog. So, okay, now this is for both of you guys because I know you guys do a lot of modeling pictures here mm-hmm. uh, pop-ups here and there low rider events and all that so with a new age in and of mm-hmm. modeling how has that helped your entrepreneurial view being a model oh man for me it's helped me like really break out of that shyness i can't even say shyness just break out of you know let's call my it bashfulness comfort. yeah yeah bashfulness yeah. out of it's helped me break out of that like i've literally just stepped into it and just said, all right, I'm going to do it. And I just look around. And, and I mean, it's just. It's still hard, though. It is hard. Mm-hmm. You're just like there sweating, breathing, like trying to figure out how to pose, how to look, how you look. You're just, you know, especially when you're blazed. Oh, my God. It's just a different. It's a different vibe. All those things are different highs, actually. It's a wow. different type of a wow. adrenaline. But it's cool. It's cool. It really, once you, actually, once the work comes out, once you see the art of it, you're, you feel proud of yourself. So I feel like that's really motivating to keep on going. At least it is for me. Could so, you could you just fine. give my listeners some more detail? Because that's a different view for me hearing that. You guys yeah. have to critique what the pictures look like, what you're mm-hmm. wearing. That's dope. I didn't know it was that intricate. I always thought it was take the picture and just post whatever. I didn't know you looked through it and really yeah. critique I, Okay, so the- I was invited to a power shoot that is um, it's usually done by... Fast Life magazine. So basically, this power shoot is a bunch of photographers, a bunch of models, and a bunch of rides. Mm. So everybody just gets thrown in there, and literally you just walk around in the parking lot. I man, I don't even know how I did it, but eventually you become cool and friends with everybody. Once you see the vibes, like there's no hater vibes, there's no competition vibes. Everybody's just there to do their art, their work, you know, doing their magic. So for me, I got in there and I just started doing my thing. So many eyes are there. It's just like you can't you can't really focus on that. You got to focus on what you're there for, you know. So basically getting it done. And then once once you're looking at the pictures with the photographers, they're happing you up. They're just like, damn, look at this. This is dope. It just it just gets that that snowball effect, you know, so it keeps you going and keeps you motivated. So honestly, shout out to all the photographers that I worked with, especially Danny. That's that's everybody's favorite photographer. <laughs> Um, and shout Lex as well. Yeah, shout out to Lex. They're very, they're gentlemen and they're very professional. And I feel like that really helps too. As a, gr- as, a girl, creeps. as a girl model. Yeah, yeah there's a lot sure. of creep guys. Yeah, I've heard, yeah. Which I feel yeah, like yeah. you can feel the vibes right away, yeah. but you got to have that personality, that character to be able to say like, hey, nah, nah, nah. You know, or but like, hey, don't record me if, <clears throat> not, if you're not telling me type of thing. Yeah. Yeah, it is a lot of photographers. It is a lot of photographers that's like that. <clears throat> So unfortunately in our city, yeah. but you got but to no, know where to look. Not mm-hmm. even, not even just in our city though. I feel like that comes with everything. Like, like goes back to the question, like 
in the new age of like modeling and all that, I feel like it does come with it. Like it does come with its uh, cons learn. and the pros. You feel okay. me? Like as a girl, it comes. Well, we're females, you know. We're not just like any other guy. Like a guy is not gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna just record you to record you if you're looking good. You know, there's some there's some photographers that just think it's cool because you're like you're there performing, and then out of that performance, they still want to continue to take pictures, et cetera, et cetera. Right. You know, because Hell yeah, nunca sabes. Like, you never know what they do out of... You never know. You, you know, like, you never know what they do out of what they do, you know? And it'd be some secret shit, huh? Simon, like, hella. That's weird. Yeah. See, that's, that, that's, that's really that, weird. That, no, yeah, but that comes with modeling, so I feel like it does change, like, like your question is just how does it help you, like, view it? Sometimes it helps you view it... Um, <clears throat> in a in a positive in way it, because yeah. it is a it is a good experience as a girl you know like oh my god I got hella pictures you know you're actually trying to be out there for the social media but you actually view it sometimes too as in like oh I gotta stay on my ten toes of full course. tempo yeah. all the time you know I think the consistency level of a model now is way higher than it was back in the Ooh, day it was just 100%. TV a few magazines mm-hmm. throughout the year maybe yeah. a few rapper videos and but now it's every day you gotta post and. It got to be this and new outfit. I feel like that really goes along with everything, with everything, everything, everything. Like dispensaries, like TJ, like, you know, just everything has advanced so much so fast that... You just gotta be on your toes with everything. Period. Absolutely. You know. You ain't capping. Ne- never lose. Never lose that. You know. Some never. girls get really into modeling and become addicted to it. That they're like okay with losing themselves. You feel me? And right. always just stand on your business. Never lose. As in, like, okay, if if you want that job, you gotta respect yourself and be like, all right, this is where it draws, and mm-hmm. this is where it draws. Whether if you know, sometimes more opportunities are given to you as a girl. You feel me? Right. It's, it's way different. <clears throat> Right, because a lot of girls at the uh, trap was uh, modeling too. Simone, you remember Elisa? Hell yeah. yeah, everyone, and everyone did She still did be their own putting thing. money up for it and shit. But yeah, everyone she, did the thing for sure. She did, but but I, her thing is she gets mad that people don't support it. But it's always like that at first. Oh yeah, and it takes years to make people realize you're serious about yep. something. Yeah, no, and and it <laughs> happens. You have to be okay with that. Be like, you can't lose yourself. Like, oh, because sometimes. I've caught myself like, damn, this post didn't get that much likes. That's my recent one. And then you start questioning it. You feel me? Like, right. damn, like, what the fuck? So Do I know, like, 30? You. Yeah, exactly. And, <clears throat> you know, we have to just know the boundary with social media. You feel me? Like, oh, yeah. step back a little bit because it does. <laughs> I, yeah, I personally <laughs> hate social media. Like, I really No, do. serio. Please like, put it out there. No, like, yesterday, <laughs> no mames. I was without my phone for five hours and I kept telling her. I was like, wait, I'm, like, going insane right now. I was like, I keep trying to reach for it. Knowing that I didn't have it, I was like, "Down, that's how you know I'm hella addicted." Like, that's bro, no bro. Bro, no fucking way. You ain't lying. For real, for real. You ain't lying. <laughs> so, yeah, damn, that's some real shit. Look, I'm gonna admit some shit too. I still be doing that shit. Me low. And I did an episode saying I would minimize my screen time. <laughs> I'm sorry, hey, listeners. Hey, well, hey, just, just know he's still trying, huh? Hello. Yeah, I am trying. I am trying. You're not lying. Blind so keep trying. Now I'm gonna ask both of you guys because you guys are both in media. What's the most exciting and most challenging thing for you being a woman of power in media? You going on this? Uh, well, I feel like I just explained it. <laughs> I just kind of like just um sometimes like like you said like her like oh nobody's supporting nobody's giving this much likes you know i feel like that does affect you as well um and um yeah that's pretty much it what's but, the most exciting and but the most ex- yeah but the most exciting part is just 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 keep going you feel me just keep going and doing what i want to do you know and yeah. podcast is what i want to do and like all this modeling is what i want to do so yeah. i feel like that's just the most exciting part yeah <laughs> yeah yeah the real pretty place pretty please all right all right for me it's always working with other people other artists other point of views um there's so many people that are talented you know you can't be everything and everyone so we are ourselves so i think the most exciting thing for me is working with other people um, getting to know them and just learning different worlds and the most challenging thing is learning my place in this field of you know different worlds so I think mm-hmm. it's like you say you gotta stick to yourself and you gotta know yourself in order to not get lost in that mm-hmm. it is challenging however once you get a good hold of that good hold of yourself um, you know that's when you really get booming because you're authentic you know 
no matter where you're at, you're gonna stand out as you. Exactly. That's gonna live longer. <laughs> it's cheaper to be yourself. It's no serio. It costs no money. Nada. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm glad you guys said that because a lot of people overestimate what they could do in a year, yeah. but underestimate what they could do in ten. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you got to go with the ten year plan and progressively go Y O Y year you. over year. Mm-hmm. Okay. Y O Y. I like that. Hello. Okay. <laughs> now, what made? It, oh, I think I did. Did I ask this? No, I did it. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. what mo- motivated you to create and produce your popular podcast, Highness Podcast? For me, like, girl, I'm like, girl, I'm just man. There's so many people that can relate, specifically Highness, the females, because like I, I had a phase where I would call women bitches. Myself, including myself. I still kind of have that little habit, you know, here and we, there. We're working on that for sure. We've got it way better. <laughs> it's just the <laughs> lingo. It's not It's not really yeah, like me being disrespectful. Right. No, it's just the lingo. I think like that now. Like, yeah, and, but we, we want it to not be seen like right. that. Right. I think growing right, up, becoming mature and just yep. trying to, again, getting to know yourself. I'm like, I guess I don't want to be considered or be seen as this bitch or, you know, whatever. So I think Kainaz is the closest thing to kind of slang but kind of you know make it fun like a hyena's a hyena i'm a hyena like this hyena right here let me tell you <laughs> it's, it's dope hey, marketing hey, it's dope right. representation <laughs> and it's super there california go. there you go it's See? super california our demographic yeah. out here is so big and wide and we're right next to mexico like say Seriously, less yeah, yeah. say less we're anonymous please elaborate <laughs> elaborate please <laughs> so i uh, i joined the the podcast once it was already created, you know, um, like she says, as long as just a bunch of high nuts just coming in, like just a gathering, it did feel like okay, look, I, I could rock with it, you know. I'm not just the type of girl to be like, oh no, nah, I like to rock with real ass high nuts, and like we want to change the aspect of everybody out in the like everybody that's tuning in you know that a high knot doesn't necessarily mean like oh she's a chola or when somebody refers like oh is that's a high knot? you refer to automatically like oh she's mexican and she's a chola you know like it's not like that um we want to get to like oh it's a high knot. like she said we're trying to change the lingo to like oh this bitch instead of that we could be like oh this high knot. and it doesn't mean you have to be mexican it doesn't mean it could be anybody right, right, it's literally right. a lingua i think it establishes you know I mean? a queen status what you guys are trying to put yeah for sure a, like a, a new way of saying baddies yeah in baddies. A sense. right exactly. this is what it is this is what we are and, yeah but you don't have to associate gangster shit with me all the no, time no right. no for sure yeah but but that's just the way this generation will, the Chicano culture, be looking at it. Like, if you be like, oh, she's a high nine, you know, right. just you automatically think, like, oh, damn, she's a down ass bitch. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, okay. hey, you okay. know? No, hey. but uh, like, but it's not like that, you know? It's but I, like I love when high nuts is like, oh, what's a high nut to you? They automatically, they like down ass female. Like, oh, for sure. That's already a high nut. Down females, they recognize, you know? Right. So that's that's really And like it could the be calling. different cultures, Ooh, though. Yeah. Like, you could be black, Asian, whatever, you feel yeah. me? Right. Like, we're still gonna refer you as a high nut. Right, right. It could, it could definitely be worldwide. Hell yeah. Definitely. Don't do that. That's worldwide, baby. Hell no. <laughs> Let's go. And it's up to you guys to keep championing, marketing, promoting, doing what you guys are doing, being powers in media. Shout out to West Coast Radio. Yes. And, and doing that for them. Yeah. Also, giving the message. I've seen a few of you guys' episodes, and I'm like, yo, this is about to be <laughs> lit. <laughs> this is about to be Shout lit. Shout out to Bella. Hey, and I'm going to tell you The greatest something. host. fuck is he talking about? Easy, hey, 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 next time you're going to be at our spot, what? <laughs> I can't wait. Hey, hey, hey I was going to tell y'all, you know how it's like signatures on the back of that board right there? Oh, yes. yes. We came, I did an interview with Smoke Dog a long time ago. Ooh. But my name is up there. Uh, it's still up there. Yeah. I, one time y'all shot and I was looking, I'm like, oh, I see it right there. <laughs> <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> so could you guys please tell my listeners where they can find your podcast, Highness Podcast? Highness Podcast is on all platforms, YouTube, Instagram, Spotify, Spotify, Apple Music, TikTok, TikTok, other things. Yeah, we everywhere. You, you can find it. Facebook. <laughs> oh, we're, we're, on, we're on Facebook too. <laughs> Shout Are out to we? the band. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Goodness, that's, we're that's on all high nuts podcast. Yeah, just like that, high nuts podcast, everywhere. I see, and you're <laughs> the, we're the only one that's gonna pop out. Just know, yeah. You feel me? <laughs> and for my listeners who don't know how to spell that, that is H Y N A S podcast. Yes. Hello, go ahead and search it up and check them out. <laughs> now, my last question for both of you guys is: What's next for the high nuts? I don't know if we could speak on that. No, I'm just like, <laughs> okay. yeah. no, 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 I think they got non-disclosure <laughs> agreements, really. I don't think they could talk about the secrets. 
<laughs> we've got a lot up our sleeves honestly we're just um going along with the seasons as well you know there's a lot throughout the seasons we got spring coming up spring break so we got summer hitting you feel me we got all these blessings to do we really yeah. just like <clears throat> to work with the seasons right now winter we've been kind of cold and and down and slow but we we picking back up with some I'm not gonna say it. Right, right, right. You guys I get gotta it. tune I get in. It. Exclusive. Oh, you guys gotta tune in. Yep. Easy, easy. <laughs> Just Anonymous. We're, we're going up. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole plan. So what's next for the high is for us to be on the way to the top and we ain't never coming back. Cause Ooh. fuck is he talking about? <laughs> hey, yeah, <laughs> yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jack ain't changed a bit, man. So look, I thank you guys both for answering these tedious questions. Ooh, yeah. <clears throat> you guys are gonna join me for your topics and solutions segment, right? Yes? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Sure. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to ask you guys some topics and talk to you guys about it and give okay. you guys some solutions. Y'all give me a... Uh, I definitely got to tell you something on this one. So right. we'll be right back after this. Let's go. the tdoc i am your host mr wow 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 back with anonymous and the real pretty please the highness yes sir. topics and solutions right now i was just telling them off record that um everything that we had at where we worked at was fake weed um <laughs> lab made psychoactive substances <laughs> Crazy. yes the dangers of synthetic cannabinoids sometimes packages e-juice for vaping or as vegetable edib- edibles excuse me most synthetic cannabinoids are sold as dry plant material sprayed with acetone and bombing fluid or other solvent laced lab made psychoactive substances. Wow. It's not just a US problem, it became international. So over three hundred and twenty different cannabinoids synthetic sold on the market. Sheesh. How do you guys feel about that? Especially because uh, uh. No mommy. No that's, mommy. That's literally all yeah. I can say. I'm just yeah. like, wait, hold on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like to hear that is crazy. Yeah. It's unfortunate. And um oh my God. Do you remember uh, somebody that worked with us in Olive? She had short hair. It used to be dyed. She had like short cut hair, light skin. What was her name? I forgot. <laughs> but she was like, it was later before it ended. She was newer or whatever. But some lady came up there and she was thanking them about the products that she was giving her. Mm-hmm. And now that I know, especially what she gave her was, some, man, I'm like, wow. That's why she just acted all weird with her. She just like, whatever. <sighs> She was like, I really thank you for this. I felt all bad oh and shit. I'm like, God. no, my mess. No I honestly, mess. y'all, I didn't even know none of this. Wow. What? This is news to you? This is news to me. This is news to me. They putting too. fentanyl on it. I know. They putting fentanyl on weed. I don't know how that looks, y'all. I don't even know how to feel about that. Honestly, <laughs> man, I've been around for a long time. Ah. Easy. Listen. 91? 90? Listen. Ah. 91, baby. easy. I'm a 91 baby. I'm a 92 baby. Oh, easy. <laughs> That's why. 90, so listen, okay, easy. Like, she started, you started smoking in seventh grade? I started smoking in eighth grade. And it was super, super low key. I tell these high nuts, I'm like, bro, like, you guys have no idea the freedom that we have now to be able to just smoke in a parking lot, smoke at the park. I'm like, before. You couldn't even smell like it. Nah. You'd get pulled over so quick. You'll get you'll get your whole car searched, like your home raided, like crazy. Yeah. Like if it was, you know, coca. Yeah, oh God. Like you gonna sell that blanco over here. <laughs> so for me, the way that it's flipped, it makes sense because you know all the hustlers that I knew that had the big packs, the real stuff, the OG, the good Kush, yeah, the good, good, yeah. good cannabis. Yeah, I love. It. Um. You know, I could differentiate. I could tell the difference right. between that type of weed and the new, the new world order type of weed. Oh, so it's just crazy <laughs> to be able to live through that, like see that and notice it. Because, I mean, I never really went to like these uh, dispensaries that they started opening up because I was a felon at the time and I had I wanted nothing to do with going back to jail. But I did, you know, once in a while shop in there and I'd like notice, I'd be like, this is too, too good. Like, so, so strong. It's crazy. But now, now that you're saying this, I'm like, wow. Wow. Right. They, re- they really try to make their money in a different way. Right. And I think yeah, they, yeah. they broke the real hustlers. You know, um, the government's like, all right, you guys want to make your money? We're going to make our money first. 
and the way that they're doing it i mean who knows how these shops work but man that's crazy just it psh, my brain is crazy right now no, for sure. hard but, to process but it's kind of but it's kind of like it's kind of like <clears throat> everything's lab made now you feel me so that does have to do right. a lot with it like you do have to think like oh damn like they have to be putting some shit in it, you know? Right. For sure. And, and, and stuff that's not right, because legal, is it's a lot of standards that's in yeah. legal weed. You got to mm-hmm. test it. It goes through so it much rigorous. We was in a trap. We was in a trap. So real, like, if you know the Spring Valley days, you just know. You just know, man. Look, my boss always say, I... no, Deontay worked in the other side of Spring Valley, the real Spring Valley. Cause <laughs> nah. Some people here be like, Casa de Oro. I'm like, nah. Nah. Every every illegal nah. DP, even in the South Bay and Chula Vista, that was running it up the same way Spring Valley was, it was just awesome. Yeah, it was. Yeah, South Bay, yeah, Spring Valley. Yeah, yeah, it was. That's yeah, crazy. it was. So I got some solutions, right? Mm-hmm. Make sure you're getting safe and tested cannabis products from a legal retailer. Mm-hmm. Uh, kids have been eating candies and snacks, and I, like I told you, I'm against that shit. My guests can tell their age, but we're still going to promote that. We're against that. So if you see a child with candies or snacks, double check the packaging and do not support unregulated cannabis. That means buying cannabis on the street Mm. because you do not know. You do not know what's in there now. Mm -hmm. If it's laced or not. Bruh. It's crazy. Because once you're on the top, you ain't going to come back down. Bruh. And just because I bought a dime bag of some weed, you put fentanyl on it? Wow. That's scary. A drug where you die from proof of purchase, just touching the purchase kills you? Wow. Golly. Who yeah. did this? Yeah. I'm pissed. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> so the importance of health and wellness, staying healthy and well is important. It makes us feel better, be more productive, and ultimately live longer. Mm-hmm. Health is the state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Wellness is an active process through which people become aware of and make choices towards a more successful existence. You guys do agree with that. I, and how yes, do you implement health agree. and wellness in you guys' life? Health and wellness? Yeah. Um, well, like you said, always make sure anything you're buying, just don't buy it just because it's cheap, you know? Yeah. Um, it could even come with meat. You go to the grocery store and like, oh, okay, like... Tampoco, I'm not saying buy hella expensive meat, but... No, buy that make, expensive meat. But oh, always, yeah, like... Uh, <laughs> Always like make no, but I'm just saying like putting it out there, you know, for people that don't can't afford it or whatever. But um, <clears throat> always make sure that you buy the best thing for your um, body, for your mm-hmm. body, and then for your health. It's also mental health too. You feel me? Like whatever you're going through, just get through it. And then, like if you gotta cut people off, cut people off, because that's honestly a healthy thing too. When you're like when you have people <clears throat> in your like mind, it takes over as well. So um, that's just in my books, but yeah. No, nah, I think it pertains to everybody widely. Yeah, no, nah, that's that's a good point. Yeah, very, very good point. Mental health is very serious, you guys. Yes, it is. Very. I wish I could put a hotline up or some shit on this shit. Yeah, just because just we've been, yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. So <laughs> some solutions, social connectedness, you know, getting friends and being open, You're talking filming. to people, yeah, exercise, yeah. nutrition, sleep. <clears throat> that's my problem. <clears throat> I don't <laughs> sleep hours. enough hours. Yes, wow. I don't. I don't mindfulness being mindful of how other people feel that's correct and their opinions and that not everything is your world and you know what i mean Mm -hmm. she's gonna feel she feels she and i respect that Mm -hmm. i respect that and i'm not trying to make Uh, you think how i think uh, (laughs) unless you got some facts you feel me and then that's already you're already growing you're already evaluating different perspectives and right yeah right right right. unfortunately you know there are some people Uh, that don't get that especially nowadays they feel like they know you because they see you on social media, so they're going to tell you, no, don't go there. When you're telling them you want to go there, mm-hmm. I'm going to go there. Don't tell me where to go, nigga. Yeah. Or, or, or it's kind of like if you were waiting on the line so long to turn right, but eventually once you get to the light, God told you to turn left. And no matter how long you've been waiting on the right lane, if God wow. told you that, that was deep. I like that <laughs> yeah. Easy. That. I like that, though. Get up, get up, get up. Each one has an impact on your physical and mental health. By making simple and healthy choices on a daily basis, you will be well on your way towards reducing stress, having positive social interactions, and achieving optimal wellness. Do you guys agree and concur? 
hundred percent. Hundred percent agree. Yes. You know, the hyena's on it. Hello, hello. Yeah. Now I want to thank you guys, uh, listeners. This is the season one finale. I want to thank all of you guys for your continued support for dealing with my crazy weird ass. You know, I'm talking about me, <laughs> wow, 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 jinkies. And thank you guys again for real for being yeah. queens of podcast, the highness, yes, of yes. course, the term, I and everything that you. you guys got going on. I really support your mission, oh, and gracias. I wish you guys the best. Thanks. Gracias. Gracias. Easy. TDOC, hey. we're out. Bye. <laughs> anywhere, let's take a flight. Oh, we could do something different since we used to the high life. Favorite meal whipped in the kitchen. Let's Netflix and get. Thanks for listening to the Doty Connection. Be sure to follow and subscribe whenever you listen to your podcasts. To read the blog associated with this episode, visit olasmedia.com. This episode was produced in studios located in San Diego, California. Lena Alvarez is co-producer. Serving as executive producer and co-founder is J.C. Polk and Chad Peace is president and co-founder. Olas Media is an IVC media company. Olas Media. Now is the time for all countrymen to listen to Dear San Diego, a public affairs podcast with personality. Tony and Juan check bios at the door. They dive into who the icons are when they're away from work. Check out Dear San Diego at olasmedia.com or wherever you get your podcasts. From the Nest is a podcast for those who are looking to go beyond degrees, webinars, and corporate titles. We talk fundraising strategies and career experiences with a side of fun and emotion. Take a listen to the next episode of From the Nest with Charity Jen, where fundraising takes flight. Follow or subscribe at olasmedia.com or wherever you get your podcasts. This year, 420 is on Saturday, which means it's going to be bigger than normal. March and Ash is going larger this year, too. The entire store is 25% off, and if you spend $75 or more, you'll be able to get the 2024 Goodie Box, complete with flour, pre-roll, vapes, and edibles, all for just one additional dollar. It's a $75 value, but only while supplies last. So be warned, they're going to move fast. Visit marchandash.com for full details. Enjoy responsibly.